Hello Internet and fellow wipe coders. In this video we have a quick look at the new skills feature in the latest Codex release. So, so far, if you are familiar with skills, you probably have used Claude a lot. So either Claude Desktop or also Claude Code. And then you know that there is a skills folder, which is here, and you can create several skills. So instead of having, you know, MCP servers, which pollute your context, you can create skills and use this progressive disclosure, meaning that you do not load everything up front into the context, but only if Claude decides, okay, now it's time to use a skill or you specifically mention to use a skill, then this is loaded. And the structure is kind of simple because you have a skills folder and then you have a skill and inside you have a folder and then you have either additional files, it could be also code snippets and so on, and you have a skill.md file. And this has a structure where you have a name, a description and potentially also a license. So basically that is the structure of this markdown file. It also needs to uh, have the name skill, right? And also this kind of structure, otherwise it would not work. And uh, here you can see, this is just an example. This is here the canvas design skill, which is here part of Claude code. So far so good. But as I said, this video is about codex. So um, now in the latest codex update, you can uh, yeah update to the latest version, you'll find if you take a look at the their GitHub repo, that there's now a new option to use currently in experimental mode, but also the skills. And uh, all you need to do is you need to go to your uh, codex, uh, so as you can see here, your local config file, if you have installed codex, and just add inside the feature here, the skills equals to true. So I can also show it to you. Uh, by the way, this is globally, of course, you can also launch directly here for a single run, but I would prefer actually have it globally because I always want to use skills. Um, so I just, let me just show it to you here as an example, there I open it, and there all you need to do is you set under the feature in the TOML file and just add uh, skills equals true. That's all you need to do. And um, if you do this, then you are able to use uh, the skills also in, in Codex CLI. And the great thing here is that the skills are transferable, so to speak. Meaning, if we go back in here, um, you can scroll down uh, further and read about it, but you'll find that here the skill design is also, there's a skill.mp file, exactly the same as Cloud Code, and there's also then a name, a description, and so on. So basically what I did, and I tested it, was just copying some of my skills, which I use in Cloud Code, simply, in a skills folder um, on my local directory, of course, um, uh, to Codex. And then I just opened, in this case, Visual Studio Code or any other kind of IDE you want. So it could be also, um, uh, of course, Cursor, could be Anti-Gravity, whatever you prefer. And uh, then if you uh, run Codex CLI, so here is the Codex CLI, and you just ask for the skills. So for instance, here, use a slash command, just show you one more time, let me go in here, uh, like that, and put in a slash here. And there is a skills option, right? and you can select it and you see exactly what kind of skills are there. So for instance, play right here, and there's also a skill creator skill, and um, these are actually a few ones, could add additional ones as well. So uh, basically that's it. So you know, we now have the option to just enable skills in Codex as well, and leverage their latest model, which is also out rare. Today it's uh, version 5.2 uh, Codex Max model, and uh, give this model these skills, and then it can also leverage the skills as uh, prior to that only Claude Code could do. So that's it for this video. So give it a go and let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and also share it and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. So thanks a lot, take care and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.